I'm Dwayne Rolfs of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. The reading for Tuesday, January 5th, is found in Luke, the 6th chapter, verses 27 through 31. But I say to you that here, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who abuse you. To him who strikes you on the cheek, offer the other also. And from him who takes away your cloak, do not withhold your coat as well. Give to everyone who begs from you, and of him who takes away your goods, do not ask them again. And as you wish that men would do to you, so do to them. The word of the Lord. Do I have to? Love your enemies, do good to those who hate you. I suspect that when young, those of us with siblings believed that there were times they crossed the line. In our peeved state, we vowed never to speak to that offender again. Perhaps we even used tape to divide our shared bedroom in two and instructed the other to stay on their own side. To make things worse, often a parent told us to give it up and forgive the offender. Do I have to? We whined. Yes, we were told unequivocally. You can't and shouldn't stay mad forever. Wise words. Hatred, enmity, and anger fashion chains that shackle the grudge holder. Such bondage fragments healthy relationships and saps the joy out of living. Ironically, what holds most of us back is not what others do to us, but how we choose to respond. Then to the wrongdoing often, not always, but often, goes both ways. Release only comes when we forgive one another and move on. With confession comes absolution, restoration, and the freedom of a new beginning for all. Let us pray. Forgiving God, grant me a measure of your spirit to forgive as I have been forgiven by you. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.